Good morning guys, it's Friday. It's not quite the end of the work week for me because I will be on Global TV tomorrow morning with Tracy and the guy at 8.40, so tune in to watch that. Um, but what a week it's been. I read online that in Flight Centre in Australia, they've had to put up signs in their agencies to say they will tolerate no verbal or physical abuse. My goodness me, what are we coming to? It made me think about some very wise words that one of uh, my travel agent colleagues, who's a reservation agent for a tour company, said to me when this all started in the middle of March. And she said it was funny watching the weeks after that progress. And she said in the first week or so, it was just panic, like get me out of here, get me back to Canada. Flights were disappearing before our eyes. Uh, it was just really chaotic and, and everybody was panicking, us included. And then after that came confusion because nobody really knew what was going on. You know, um, what happened to my previous flight that I booked? Will I still be able to get on the flight that I have booked to go home tomorrow? So there was a lot of confusion going around. And then she said after that came the anger. And I thought, wow, that's like the grieving process. You know, all those different stages we talk about. And I guess it has been kind of a grieving process, grieving for the life that we had and the things that we knew. And, um, but after that comes acceptance, I think. And I do, I am positive that it's going to be a better world that we're going to travel in. I think travel is going to be um, better and more enjoyable for all of us. Uh, we've learned a hard lesson here. So we need to be positive and go forward with that in our minds and more than anything else, be kind. This is no one's fault. So let's be positive when we go forward and stay well and stay healthy and more importantly, stay happy. Have a great weekend. Bye.